Hey y'all, it's Zach from Southern Style Flies, and today I'm going to be tying one of my popular irresistible shirt patterns. I haven't tied one of these in quite a while, but it has always worked well for me for reds and trout. So let's get to it. So I'm going to be starting off with the Gamagatsu B10S size 4. This is what I prefer to tie it in. You could also tie it in a Gamagatsu SC15 one knot, size 1, size 2, it's just based on personal preference. And I'm also going to be using the Tan Ultra Thread in size 140. Start by just getting a bunch of thread wraps just to help build the base. First material we're going to be tying on is these black and pearl lead eyes. They are in size medium. You're going to start by putting it on. Make sure to leave enough room to tie a weed guard later on if that's what you prefer. I'm going to start by doing a bunch of figure eight wraps and then some helicopter wraps around the eye as well. And before you secure it on too well, I like to take some of this head cement dab it on here just a little bit to help secure the, lap, the wraps. Make sure it doesn't come undone. And then just continue wrapping. Make sure they're fairly straight. Work your thread back towards the barb of the hook so your thread is right over the barb. Then we're going to take some saddle hackle I have here. For this one I'm using green. I like to do between four and five skinny pieces. So just take out four to five that you like. All right, now that you got your four pieces of hackle feather, take them, line them up. They don't have to be 100%, just make sure they're more or less, and then group them together like I have here. Make sure none of them are facing down. Make sure they're all either going out or up. That'll make it easier when you're actually fishing the fly later on so some of the materials don't foul underneath the hook shank. Get a few tight wraps. Cut off the extra. And then do a bunch more tight wraps all the way up, securing all the other fibers. Another thing I like to do to help making to make sure the materials don't foul is you do some wraps underneath the feathers like this, underneath the eye, underneath the feather. I do about two or three or four. Once those are all good, do a few more on top. Then you're ready for the second material. Second body material that is. And for this, I'm gonna be using the orange black barred soda legs, and these ones are the Hadral Point brand. For this pattern, I'm going to be taking three of them. And then you're going to double them up. Put them on like this. Do a few wraps back. Do like two or three wraps over them. Adjust them so there's three and three on each side. And then do some more wraps to help secure them. Then 
Then you're gonna take your scissors, measure them out. I like them to be just a little bit longer than the feathers on the back, but they can be however length. They don't have to be 100% even as well, just because most bait fish that you're seeing aren't even, and if it swims a little bit different, that's in some cases a lot better, because then that entices the reaction bite for a lot of these redfish. Make sure that they're nice and secure. One of the next materials I'm gonna be using is a three inch wide sparkle brush. Let's take one out of the package. We're gonna be cutting it in half. And then we're gonna start by tying it down. Get a bunch of wraps there, and make sure it's nice and tight. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab hackle pry pliers if you have some, but if not, just take it and wrap it around, each time bringing the fibers backwards. Sometimes if you are tying a smaller version of this fly, you can get away with just using a quarter of the brush instead of having to use half the whole entire brush. Like in this case, tying it on a size four, a quarter of the brush would have been plenty. But while we're at it, we're just gonna tie the full half in. Make sure you are trying to cinch the fibers back as well as possible in between each wrap. All right, once you've made it all the way to the eyes, do a few wraps to secure the brush down. And then bring all the fibers back. Then you're gonna to wanna to cut the brush afterwards. Mm -hmm. Just be careful not to cut your thread, because that happens a lot when you're cutting a brush. Make sure that's all secure. Work your thread forward. Afterward, I like to stand all these up. Let's just whip finish real quick. Afterwards, I like to stand up all these fibers so I can cut them evenly. Once you have finished tying it all up, it should look pretty close to this. And this is a great little pattern for redfish and trout that I use a lot. It's a great, very flashy fly. It works well in both, both murky and clean water. At the end, I have to finish off a lot of my flies with UV resin. Here I have the, the flow, and I just put a little bit around the wraps where I did the whip finish. And that's just to help, again, to make sure it doesn't come undone after catching a bunch of fish. And then you can do one of two things. You, you can either take it outside on a sunny day and let it cure that way, or take one of these lights that Loon makes and just hold it on for a few seconds.
And then after that, you're done. Make sure if you like the video to like and subscribe and leave in the comments what other fly tying videos you'd like to see, any other fly ideas that you have seen and that you aren't quite sure how to tie. Just either DM me on Instagram and my link will be in the description or just send me an email. Southern style fly tying at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.